welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've, I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rath's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. I just want to be the best in basketball, so uh, I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is alone. We got a fire drill here, ladies and gentlemen, at e Leo High School to start things off. So we're going to go ahead and take a break, and we'll be back here to begin our broadcast live, SummitCitySports.com.
An interesting start to the broadcast here tonight. There is still about 13 minutes left here in warm-ups as a fire drill took place during the game. Got to make sure everybody's prepared for any type of circumstances, it seems like. So we're going to go ahead and take one quick break, and we'll come back here live on SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork. It's it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strength. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. I'm Matt Wolford, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. You're good at making big announcements. We're having a go! <laughs> We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Online, over the phone, or in person. And stop knocking on wood. You're good at basement basketball.
we're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, online, over the phone, or in person, and stop knocking on wood. You're good at keeping the car clean. Good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance online, over the phone, or in person, and stop knocking on wood. I came into PSM my freshman year after volleyball. Just coming here just really improved like mentally and physically. I brought in my strengths. I came in and I learned how to grow as an athlete. I mean, I've gotten stronger, sprint faster, get up higher. My jump has elevated. Working with Tyler, he built up my endurance for everything, whether it's in weights, sprints. All across the board, we just keep working. And I have athlete development at Warsaw High School that I go to. And so I send him my thing every day. And he changes what we do in here to adapt to what we do there. High school volleyball, when you can go up to five sets, being able to out, like, just outwork everybody and still being able to put in that 100% was huge for me. PSM performance definitely helped me mentally. I know I can beat out people. I know I can like, work for what I have. And I know I can like, even go to the next level on the court. Looking at college, I can put on it. I'm like, I'm training at a college level. I mean, I come in here and I watch college athletes train. You have hockey players, soccer, and you look around and you see every type you can. And just being able to see that level, and I know that I can reach that level as well. You gotta work to be the best, and that was just what I wanted to do. I knew that from a young age, I wanted to put in the work. The athletes has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen the, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is it's, 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 it's just here, man. It's just it's really it's really Good evening, everybody, and thank you for clicking on here to SummitCitySports.com. We're coming to you live right here, Leo High School, as the East Noble Knights are getting set to take on the Leo Lions here in IHSAA Boys Basketball Action. We thank you for joining us, SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified of all of our live events as they do happen. Well, we thank you for joining us here. A little bit of a late start here as we got 11 minutes left in our pregame action as a fire drill took place in the middle of warm-ups about seven minutes in. So we are going to go ahead and preview tonight's matchup here live on SummitCitySports.com. First, starting with the East Noble Knights. They are coming into this one at 7-7. Seven and seven. This will be their first game in 19 days as their team hit the COVID protocol. So they had to quarantine for quite a bit. Their last game out, they took a 10-point loss to Huntington North, a very, very talented Huntington North ball club. So they are a 7-7 seven, a seven in overall play under first-year head coach Brandon Ernell. We're going to go ahead and give you their wins and losses here to start it out. Their losses have come to East Noble by 11, Snyder by 23, Northridge by 13, Columbia City by 14, Goshen by 11, John Glenn by 6, and then obviously the loss to Huntington North last week, or excuse me, two weeks ago, 78 to 68. Their wins coming over Lakeland, Carroll, Woodland, Concord, Prairie Heights, Cherubusco, and Westview. Well, we're going to go ahead and look at the overall schedule here for the Leo Lions. They are under 18th year head coach and Kerry Cogdell, 249 and 154. So Coach Cogdell looking to pick up his 250th victory in boys basketball action here tonight. They are 9 and 2 on the year. Coming off a big, big win against the Snyder Panthers, 72 to 59. That one took place last Tuesday evening as they went to Snyder and stunned the Panthers after the Panthers came off their big win against the Homestead Spartans. Looking at their two losses, 
came to a very, very talented Northrop team led by one of the best guards in the area in Jalen Jackson. Lost to them by nine points and then lost to Leo in a tough one as I had the pleasure to be on the call for that one. That one was a loss that came to a very talented New Haven squad by six points led by Darion Brooks and Jakar Williams. Lengthy, lengthy team there over at New Haven High School. So they are 9-2 and two on the year. Their wins coming against Concordia, Southside, Lane, Heritage, Lures, Huntington North, Canterbury, Norwell, and uh, Snyder, as I mentioned. Their last game should have been January 24th, but that one was postponed due to COVID protocols. And uh, that one was supposed to be against Northside, but they're going to take on East Noble here tonight in basketball action and then travel to Belmont on Saturday for a 7.30 tip there. And uh, looking at East Noble's next game, uh, they will take on a very, very talented Norwell squad in the, the NE8. They'll continue conference action on a Saturday at a 1.30 p.m. start against the 13-3 Norwell Knights. So that one will be a good one to look out for here as it will look to mix up things here in the Northeast 8 Conference. Let's go ahead and run down the standings here in the NE8. In first place, Norwell. 3-1 in the conference, 13-3 overall. Columbia City, 3-1 in the conference, 11-4 overall. New Haven, 3-1 in the conference, and 7-7 seven seven overall. So those three teams all tied in first place, sitting at 3-1. Leo coming into this one, 2-1 in the conference, 9-2 overall. Huntington North, 2-2 two two in the conference, 10-5 overall. Belmont, 1-3, 8-6 overall. East Noble, 0 oh, and 2 in the conference, so looking to pick up their first conference win. They'll have a good shot at it in these next two games against Leo and Norwell. They are 0 oh, and 2 in conference play, 7 and 7 overall. And DeKalb, 0 oh, and 3 and 5 and 7 overall. That is the standings here in the NA8 conference. This is the one of the only games in the area taking place tonight. Looking at a schedule ahead here for the Northeast 8 Conference. Saturday, January 29th. That'll be this upcoming Saturday. Huntington North will take on a DeKalb for a 7.30 start. Leo versus Belmont, 7.30. New Haven and Columbia City, 7.30 start. And Norwell, as I mentioned, will travel to East Noble for a 1.30 p.m. start. Well, we're going to go ahead and take a short break. Then we'll come back here to preview some players on both sides of this four here tonight here live on summitcitysports.com there are tons of benefits to using compression therapy but my favorite are speeding up muscle recovery reducing swelling and inflammation and improving my athletic performance Your kids grow up quick, and there's a lot to teach them. Some lessons they won't pick up in school. Some they'll learn the hard way. But when it's time to give them the keys to their finances, we'll be there to help. With their first checking account and the tools they need to make sense of their money. And even though they're off on their own, you'll be able to check in to see how they're doing. Raising your children is important, and teaching them about money is a big deal. So ProFed makes it easy. Federally insured by the NCUA, equal. We're back here live from Leo High School as the East Noble Knights are getting set to take on the Leo Lions. Let's go ahead and preview both of these squads here tonight. First, we'll start off with the East Noble Knights coming into this one at 7 and 7. They are led by their guard and the number three, Spencer Denton, averaging 15 and a half points on the year, four point four and a half rebounds and four and a half six assists per game. Also led by one of the Biggest players in the area, and Chris Hood sitting at 690. Ball State University football commit 15 and a half points per game and nine and a half rebounds per game on the year. So almost a double double there for the big fella in Chris Hood. Look for him to lead the way inside against the Twin Towers here tonight for the Leo Lions. And let's go ahead and preview Leo here as they are led by one of the most talented bigs in the area in Cade Bontrager, averaging. 27.3 points per game. Look for him to be a crucial threat here tonight for the Leo Lions. Also on the rebounding end, averaging eight, eight and a half rebounds per game. Also looking at DJ Allen, the other part of that twin tower, 
averaging nine points per game here for the Leo Lions. Look for them to bring the guards off the bench and Trey Heishu and Luke LaGrange look for those two. They can shoot the ball from outside and inside here for the Leo Lions. Those two to come off the bench and also in the backcourt for Leo Brody Heichu and Aiden Rubel. Also big on the end is Xavier Middleton. Look for them to be big guards here tonight for the East, or excuse me, for the Leo Lions. Well, we are about three minutes here from tip. So we're going to go ahead and thank some of our sponsors here real quick that allow us to come out here and do these ball games here with SummitCitySports.com. First, the Big Eyed Fishers have been out in the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook page for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne and a friendly family environment at the Big Eyed Fish. Kelly Automotive Group is Indiana's number one automotive group with over 1,000 new vehicles and 500 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Please visit drivekelly.com. Simple, transparent, reliable. Tom Steel Tire has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They will help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. You're invited to join Perfect Credit Union where we get to know you to better serve you. Sign up online in five minutes or stop by a branch today and start earning your financial future at profedcu.org. At Altmore Contract, you invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process from bid to build. Visit altmorecontracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together, we can reach the Summit. Anderson Heating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business needs. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. iCryo specializes in whole body cryotherapy, body sculpting, cryofacials, and for sonic compression therapy services. Check out Jalen Smith's signature location on Coliseum Boulevard by Blaze Pizza. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? Whether it takes a bunch of your criminal record or helping to get your driver's license reinstated, Jolie Law Firm is your answer. Sioka Cleaning and Restoration providing top-notch commercial cleaning services, including gender derail, water damage, and state-of-the-art disinfection throughout the Northeast Indiana area. At Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. We're the region's only specialized athletic rehab facility. Learn more about visiting parkviewsportsmedicine.com. Today's broadcast is brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll be notified of all of our live events as they do happen. Well, we are about three minutes away here from Tip as they are going through the school songs and the intros. So we're going to go ahead and take one more quick break to put the national anthem behind us. We'll come back here with starters and more here live on SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260s dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Dealing with joint pains, sprains, strains, or back pain? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, Ortho Express has specialized orthopedic physicians on staff when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Ortho Express is open Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call 260-266-4007 for more. We are back here live from Leo High School. 2.20 left to go on our clock and our pregame 
Warm-ups here out at Leo High School. We are in for a big, big matchup here in the Northeast 8 Conference here live on SummitCitySports.com. We're going to go ahead and run down our broadcast here the rest of the week here live on SummitCitySports.com. But before we mention, let's go ahead and mention next week's schedule as girls sectionals are set to begin and next week. I will be live for the Woodland sectional. They're out at Woodland High School games taking place. Tuesday night, Friday night in the championship on Saturday. There are other games live around the area. Huntington North, another big sectional here with uh, the Fort Wayne Silent in the 260. Also, Snyder hosting a sectional. So we'll be live with those sectionals here Huntington North, Snyder, and Woodland. Well, we're going to go ahead and run down the rest of our schedule here this week before we begin our broadcast here live on SummitCitySports.com. Tonight we are also live at Woodland High School as the Lakewood Park is taking on the Woodland Warriors. Tomorrow night we'll be live for doubleheader and girls' boys action. North, or excuse me, North Side at Concordia, Snyder at Carroll, South Side at Dwinger, and then I will be live for girls' basketball action. They're out at Woodland High School. As Prairie Heights will take on the Woodland Warriors. That one's set to begin at 7.30 p.m. And all those doubleheaders set to start at 6 p.m. On Saturday, we'll be live from Blackhawk Christian High School where I will be on the call for the Wayne Generals versus the Blackhawk Christian Braves. That one's set to begin at 7.30 with senior night festivities before the game. So looking at a 7.45 start there out at Blackhawk Christian High School. Also, another game we are at, Marriott and Northrop, 7.30 start. North Central and Southside, a 5 30 p.m. start, and those are all boys basketball action. We're going to take one quick break here as the national anthem is getting set here to take place here out at Leo High School. We'll be back here live on SummitCitySports.com. I came into PSM my freshman year after volleyball. Just coming here just really improved like mentally and physically. I brought in my strengths. I came in and I learned how to grow as an athlete. I mean, I've gotten stronger, sprint faster, get up higher. My jump has elevated. Working with Tyler, he built up my endurance for everything, whether it's in weights, sprints. All across the board, we just keep working. And I have athlete development at Warsaw High School that I go to. And so I send him my thing every day. And he changes what we do in here to adapt to what we do there. High school volleyball, when you can go up to five sets, being able to out, like, just outwork everybody and still being able to put in that 100% was huge for me. PSM performance definitely helped me mentally. I know I can beat out people. I know I can like work for what I have. And I know I can like even go to the next level on the court. Looking at college, I can put on it. I'm like, I'm training at a college level. I mean, I come in here and I watch college athletes train. You have hockey players, soccer, but you look around and you see every type you can. And just being able to see that level, and I know that I can reach that level as well. You gotta work to be the best, and that was just what I wanted to do. I knew that from a young age, I wanted to put in the work. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, National Anthem in the books. Let's go ahead and turn it over to our PA announcer here for starting on Epson more live, SummitCitySports.com.
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineups and the books. First for the East Noble Knights, they're going to roll out with number two, Keegan Foster, number three, Spencer Denton, number 23, Avery Klein, number 42, Max Bender, and number 52, Chris Hood. For the Leo Lions, they're going to roll out with a different starting lineup here tonight as Trey Haichu coming into the starting role here for head coach Kerry Cogdell. He'll start with Xavier Middleton, Brody Haichu, Demetrius Holland standing at 6'7", and Caden Bontrager at 6'8", here for the Leo Lions. Well, the tip is set, and the ball is in the air, and we are underway. Leo with possession to start it here out at Leo High School, and a quick turnover. Possession's going to go to the East Noble Knights here to start it. They'll start with possession here. Bender will look up the floor. He'll get it up there to Foster. Foster here with him now for the Knights. He'll go ahead and push to the middle of the court. He'll be guarded by Trey Haichu here. Kick here near side to Den. Denton gets a screen from Hood. Look for the pick and roll action between those two all night long. As Hood with a turnaround, can't get it to go. Brody Haichu with the rebound. Middleton here with it. Nice find there down low. Found DJ Allen on the cut. And Allen goes up and gets the bucket there for the Lions. Pushing the floor here are the Knights. Bender here with it. He'll go far side there to Denton. Denton with it now here for the Knights. He'll give it off to Klein. Klein goes to Bender. Free throw line jumper. No good. Rebound comes down to Klein. Klein here with it. Goes up top there to Denton. Denton here with it at the top of the key. Nice back cut there. Gets it off to Bender. Bender back with it now here at the top of the key for the Knights. He'll find Avery Klein there inside, throw it up, can't get it to go. Rebound, battled for, Bontrager able to come up with it and give it off there to Brody Haichu. Haichu moving the floor here for the Lions and threw it out of bounds there. Pass was intended for Xavier Middleton just in and out of the hands of him. So possession's going to go to the Knights. 6.49 left to go here in our first quarter of action. SummitCitySports.com bringing you this live broadcast. We thank you for joining us as Klein's going to inbound here to Denton. Denton as picking up the full court pressure are the Lions. He'll escape it, get to the free throw line, had it knocked away there. Trey Haichu here with it. And he'll go up and get it swatted there. Avery Klein on the swat for the Knights. Possession is going to stay here with the Lions, but what a block there from Avery Klein. The six foot four forward. Here for the East Noble Knights, they'll go inside there. Brody Haichu with the brotherly connection to Trey Haichu for the bucket. 4-0, now our score 6.25 left to go here in our first quarter. Denton's going to get a screen here from Hood. He'll roll it into Allen, goes up strong and gets the bucket. 4-2, now our score is shoe tie here as Middleton had to tie a shoe. Luckily the ball came back to him. He was able to take possession here and give it up the floor there to Brody Haichu. Haichu with a jumper there off the front of the iron. Rebound comes down. Foster here with it now for the Knights. He'll come here near side. Get it across there. Finds Klein there down low. Avery Klein tried the spin move there. Instead, Trey Haichu came away with it. Haichu going up, throwing the lob there. Caden Bond trigger with the slam. Woo! I tell you what, kids, Kate and Bond Trigger will catch bodies here all night long for the Leo Lions. Nice find there from Trey Haichu to Cademan Bond Trigger for the slam. Bender here with it inside there. Hood can't get it to go. Allen comes down with the rebound on the push ahead. Brody Haichu here with it now for the Lions. He'll give it off to his brother and Trey Haichu. Throw it over there to Middleton. Gets a screen from Allen. Middleton works away with it. Tried to go for the floater there. Blocked again. Avery Klein with his second block of the night here for the East Noble Knights. They'll give it up here to Bender. Bender back to Foster at the top of the key. He'll go over there to Denton. Denton was looking down low for the pass. It said had it knocked away. Trey Haichu comes away with it. Will go up and can't get it to go, but he will go to the line to shoot a pair. Will the sophomore here for head coach and Kerry Cogdell. Foul is called on at number three and Spencer Denton. That is his first, the team's first. So Trey Haichu will go to the line to shoot a pair here for the Leo Lions. Haichu a 74% free throw shooter. In and out there on the first little broadcast. Jinx going on there 
Allen at Leo High School. 6-2, our score, 450 left to go here in our first quarter of action. Trey Haichu, oh, lane violation called here, and we're going to go the other way. So East Noble will take possession here as a lane violation called on the Leo Lions. So East Noble will inbound, Klein will inbound here for them. Klein gets it in here to Denton. Denton guarded by Middleton. Denton, another unrated guard here in the NE8 as he is averaging, as I mentioned in the pregame, 15 and a half points on the year for East Noble. He'll inbound here, Will Denton. Denton will get it in to Foster. Foster with it at the top of the key. He's guarded by Trey Haichu. Gives it off, Spencer Denton, three ball on the way is good. Makes it a one point lead now here for the Leo Lions as the three ball there from Denton. Cuts lead to one. Bontrager with the floater there, can't get it to go. Trey Haichu came down with the rebound, had it knocked away. It came out to Brody Haichu. He'll dribble in, kick it out. Middleton, three ball on the way, no good. Allen comes with the rebound and oh! A foul is gonna be called there on Chris Hood and ooh! I don't know about that one. But they're going to give it to Denton there as he might have hit him underneath. I couldn't tell here in the tight view. Here out at Leo High School, Allen will shoot two here for the Lions. Allen converts there on the first, makes it a two-point lead here for Leo. TJ Allen, a 53% free throw shooter here for Leo. 417 left to go here in our first quarter. Can't convert on the second. Klein comes down with the rebound here for the Knights. On the kick ahead here to Foster. Foster here with it near side wing. He'll dribble to the top of the key. Gets a screen there from Bender. Come back the other way. Will Foster. He'll give it off here to Avery Klein. Klein brought the double team guarded by Brody Haichu. Has it knocked away from behind. But Avery Klein able to come up with possession. Gets it to Denton. Denton over to Foster. Foster with the jumper there. No good. Von Trigger comes down with the rebound for the Lions. He'll give it off to his guard and Birdie Haichu. 3.45 left to go here in our first quarter of action. He'll come here near side to Middleton. Middleton here with it. Looks inside there to Bontrager. Bontrager using the size to throw that one up. Can't get it to go. Bender comes down with the rebound. Had it knocked away. And Hood comes away with it for the Knights. He'll give it to Foster. Foster over to Denton. Another three ball on the way. No good. Rebound battle for Bender comes away with it. Had it knocked in the air. Able to stay with it. Had it knocked from behind and it looks like it was off of Middleton. So possession will stay here with the Knights. Denton's going to check out for the Knights and checking in for him. A three-pointer hot shooter here for East Noble and a number 10, Owen Ritchie. And oh, a foul called there as Haichu went for the steal and they're gonna call him for a hit so that'll be Haichu's first foul in the team's first 317 left to go and a timeout called by East Noble and head coach Brandon Durnell we'll take one with them back here live summitcitysports.com I came into PSM my freshman year after volleyball. Just coming here just really improved like mentally and physically. I brought in my strengths. I came in and I learned how to grow as an athlete. I mean, I've gotten stronger, sprint faster, get up higher. My jump has elevated. Working with Tyler, he built up my endurance for everything, whether it's in weights, sprints. All across the board, we just keep working. And I have athlete development at Warsaw High School that I go to. And so I send him my thing every day. And he changes what we do in here to adapt to what we do there. High school volleyball, when you can go up to five sets, being able to out, like, just outwork everybody and still being able to put in that 100% was huge for me. PSM performance definitely helped me mentally. I know I can beat out people. I know I can like work for what I have. And I know I can like even go to the next level on the court. Looking at college, I can put on it. I'm like, I'm training at a college level. I mean, I come in here and I watch college athletes train. You have hockey players, soccer, and you look around and you see every type you can. And just being able to see that level, and I know that I can reach that level as well. You gotta work to be the best, and that was just what I wanted to do. I knew that from a young age, I wanted to put in the work. 
the athletes has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summer City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's the plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really it's really. We're back here live at Leo High School. 7-5, our score, two-point lead here for the Lions as Middleton's going to check out here for Leo. Checking in for him at number 24, and Luke LaGrange. And a technical foul called on the Knights. I believe it would have been a jersey situation as on the official roster, Owen Ritchie is wearing number 12, but on the floor, he is wearing number 10 here tonight. LaGrange misses on the first there for the Lions. He'll have a shot at another one here for Leo. Converts there on the second. Makes it a three-point lead here for the Lions. Aiden Rubel has checked in here for the Lions. Looks like he checked in for Brody Haichu. Yep, it is a wrong number in the scorebook on the East Noble Knights. So I believe that was Owen Ritchie's jersey as I mentioned, on the roster, number 12, and here tonight in the number 10 uniform for the Knights. So Trey Heitch is going to have it here now for the Lions. 310 left to go here in our first quarter. Trey Heitch, you looking to get out of traffic, guarded by Richie. We'll give it off here up top to DJ Allen. Allen here with it. Look for him to find Bontrager down low. Bontrager kicks it back out. DJ Allen, three ball on the way. Money. DJ Allen with the three ball showing the range here for the Leo Lions as he is a 50% free throw shooter. Richie up top here to Bender with it now. 240 left to go here in our first quarter. Comes here near side of Foster. Foster with a nice find there over the top. Chris Hood with the bucket. So a four-point lead and now here for the Leo Lions. 225 left to go here in our first quarter of action. Trey Heitschu's going to have it. He'll come here near side to LaGrange. LaGrange will dribble inside. We'll take a dribble in on his defender. Step back and shot goes up. Foul is going to be called on East Noble. That is on number 42 in Max Bender. That is going to be Bender's first foul. And LaGrange will inbound underneath the basket as they're going to call that foul on the floor. McGee is going to check in. Jackson McGee, that is, here for the Lions. He'll check in for number three in Trey Heitschu. And inbounding here. They'll get it into Bontrager. Bontrager, double teams, can't get it to go. Chris Hood comes away with a rebound for the Knights. He'll give it off to his guard. And Keegan Foster. Foster dribbling down low. We'll get a screen here up top here to Bender. Bender over to Klein there. Far side wing. Klein guarded by LaGrange. We'll dribble in on his defender here now. Kick it back out here to Richie. Richie goes back to Klein. Klein there over cross court to Foster. Foster dribbles to the top of the key. What can it go down low there? Hood. Nice find there over the top. Chris Hood. Back to back buckets for the big fella. Two point lead and now here for the Leo Lions. And we got 132 left to go here in our first quarter of action. Here as LaGrange with it. Goes up top, Allen. Three ball, money! DJ Allen with the three. DJ Allen dropping the three pointers here for Leo. A five point lead now here for the Lions. Benter here with it near side wing. Will dribble in, tries to throw it over top there. Foster able to come away with it and save it here for the Knights. One minute left to go here in our first quarter of action. They'll go inside. Avery Klein makes a move around his defender, gets it up and scores. Cuts it down to three. 45 seconds left to go here in our first quarter of action. Ruble's going to have it now here for the Lions. He'll dribble in on Foster. Dribbles back out. Gets a screen there from Bontrager. Will go far side there to McGee. McGee knocked away there from Foster on the floor. It is. And 
The Lions able to save it. McGee saves it from crossing the half-court line. Throws up the floater. Can't get it to go. Rubel with a nice rebound there. Up top here, Bontrager comes away with it. Had it knocked off of Klein. And out of bounds. So Leo will maintain possession. 17 and a half seconds left to go here in our first quarter of action. LaGrange will inbound. He'll inbound here to Rubel. Rubel here with it at the near side wing, 10 seconds left to go here in our first quarter. He'll be guarded here by Foster. Rubel dribbling in, five seconds left to go. Gets a screen from Allen, works around it, and able to get it to go, can't get it to go, and had it knocked away, and that is going to be the end of our first quarter. 14-11, Leo with the lead over East Noble. We're gonna take a break back here live, SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. We are back here live, SummitCitySports.com here from Leo High School, second quarter of action here underway here out at Leo East Noble. Uh, down three against the Leo Lions. Richie here with it now for the Knights. We'll give it off here to Denton. And Denton will come here near side to Foster. Foster back to Denton. He'll get a screen, throws it up, can't get it to go. Foul is going to be called. So Spencer Denton's going to go to the line to shoot a pair here for East Noble. Denton a 75% free throw shooter here for the Knights. Got it to go for the first free throw. Did Denton cuts the lead down to two. And makes it a one-point lead now here for Leo. Rubel is going to dribble the ball up the floor here for the Lions. Rubel, Middleton, McGee, LaGrange, and Allen all on the floor for the Lions. For the Knights, Richie, Hood, Detton, Foster, and Klein. Allen with it up top here. Thought about the three ball. He has been hot from the three line. Instead, dribbles it in and gets the bucket. So now Avery Klein here with possession for the Knights. He'll dribble in on LaGrange. Step back here, dribble around his defender. Goes up top there to Denton. Denton with it far side wing. He'll have it here at the top of the key. They'll look down low there to Hood. Off of the hands of Chris Hood. And possession's going to go to the Lions. 6.57 left to go here in our second quarter of action. SummitCitySports.com I'm bringing you this live broadcast here. Ribble here with it now for the Lions. Middleton tried to find McGee there on the back cut. And instead handed it off there to LaGrange. LaGrange with it now here at the top of the key. LaGrange in the corner. Three ball no good there on the wing. And Klein comes away with it now here for E. Snubble. Klein will dribble up the... And they'll get it off here to Richie. Richie here with it now. Richie cross court pass there. Klein here with it now for the Knights. Richie here with it now at the top of the key. They'll look to go inside to Hood off the back of McGee. And McGee comes away with it. And 
Are we going to get a foul here, or we're going to get a timeout called by Leo? 30-second timeout. We'll take one with them back here live. SummitCitySports.com. There are tons of benefits to using compression therapy, but my favorite are speeding up muscle recovery, reducing swelling and inflammation, and improving my athletic performance. Your kids grow up quick, and there's a lot to teach them. Some lessons they won't pick up in school. Some, they'll learn the hard way. But when it's time to give them the keys to their finances, we'll be there to help with their first checking account and the tools they need to make sense of their money. Back here live from Leo High School. Three-point lead here for the Lions. 16-13, 5.58 left to go. LaGrange here with it now for the Lions. He'll have it. He'll kick it over. That is Allen with it now. They go back up top here. Ruble. Ruble over there to McGee. McGee can't get it to go. Richie comes away with a rebound for East Noble. And Denton come away with it. Had it knocked away there from McGee. McGee's going to push the floor here for the Lions. He'll leave it off there. Grange goes up with it, gets it to go. Nice find there from McGee to get it to LaGrange for the bucket. And out of bounds, Leo is going to take over possession. Five-point lead here for the Lions. 5-14 left to go here in our second quarter. Leo Den, the Leo Lion Den, they call it the student section here for Leo High School. Absolute stunner here tonight. Big, big student show out here for the Lions, as you do expect from one of the top programs here in the Northeast State Conference. Allen with another three there. Couldn't get that one to go. And Denton comes down with a rebound here for the Knights, he'll give it off here to Klein. Klein here with it. Comes here near side, Foster. Foster dribbles to the top of the key. He'll have it here now. Goes across court there, Richie. Or excuse me, that was Denton. My apologies. Denton back to Foster. Foster in the corner, Richie. Three ball on the way, no good. Rubel comes down with the rebound here for the Lions. He'll dribble up the floor, gives it off to Middleton there, far side wing. Middleton will dribble in on his defender, draws the foul. We'll go to the line to shoot a pair here for Leo. That foul is going to be called on at number 25. Or excuse me, number 52 in Chris Hood. That is his first and the team's fifth. So Middleton will go to the line to shoot a pair here for Middleton able to convert there on the first, makes it a six-point lead. Got some substitutions being made, so let's go ahead and give you the players on the floor for Leo. They're going to roll out. Ruble, Bontrager, Trey Haichu, Brody Haichu, and Xavier Middleton. Carver Miller, Keegan Foster, Owen Ritchie, Chris Hood, and at number 42 and Max Bender on the floor here for East Noble. And Foster's going to dribble it up the floor here for East Noble. Haichu came away with a steal. He'll have it here now. That is Trey Haichu. Both brothers on the floor. The Haichu brothers had a great chance, opportunity this summer to coach those fellows. They are some very, very talented ball players. Also have an eighth grader coming up in a Nolan Haichu. Look for him to be on the map here in the 2-6-0 for basketball players in the area. One of the top eighth graders I've seen throughout the years. As Bender tried to go up with it, saw nobody in the lane, had it knocked from behind. And East Noble came way with possession. They'll inbound here now under the basket. 3.43 left to go here in our second quarter. Miller's going to get it in here now for the Knights. So get it in here to Hood. Hood back up top here to Foster, to Bender here at the top of the key. Bender here with it. Trying to find somebody to go to instead. Dribbles in. They go to Richie in the corner. Three ball on the way. It's good. 
Owen Ritchie doing what he does best. Hitting threes here for E. Snubble. Cuts the lead down to four. 2016, our score, 315. Left to go here in our second quarter. Lions are going to have it. Trey Haichu goes up strong and gets the bucket. Knights got to inbound quickly as they get it in here to Foster. He'll be double teamed from behind, able to maintain his dribble. Nice play there by Keegan Foster to able to keep the dribble as Hood dribbles down his defender and gets the bucket. Chris Hood and not so much using the size advantage there, but using the body mass to tick down Bond Trigger there to get the bucket for he snubble as Rubel air ball there on the free throw. Or excuse me, on the three-pointer. My apologies there. And the Knights come away with it. Bender to the top of the key. Miller. Miller here with it now. Far side wing. He'll come back up top here to Foster. 220 left to go. They'll go down low. Chris Hood. Oh, can't get it to go. And the Knights able to maintain possession. Bender here with it. He'll go to Miller. Miller with a the jumper there. No good. And Haichu. Brody Haichu comes down with the rebound. Kicks ahead here to his brother and Trey Haichu. Haichu will dribble down. Richie get his own rebound, throws it up, and gets the bucket. Trey Haichu using the strength there to get the score for Leo. And extends the lead out to six. And Foster using the speed there, dribbling the floor. Can't get it to go. Bontrager comes down with the rebound. Bontrager using the side save. They're going to call a block there on oh, East Noble as Miller... Is going to pick up the blocking foul. No. They're going to give it to Max Bender. So that is going to be Bender second. The team's a six. And Denton's going to check in here for Miller. Avery Klein's going to check in for Bender. 145 left to go here in our second quarter. The Lions are going to inbound on the basket. They'll find Bond Trigger down low. Okay, get it to go. Hood comes down with a rebound. Kicks ahead here to Avery Klein. Avery Klein here with it now. And Klein picked up his dribble on the floor. It's going to get called for the travel. So Leo will take possession the other way. They'll get it in here to Rubel. Rubel with a skip pass up the court there to Brody Haichu. As Bontrager dribbles down, his defender goes up and gets the bucket. Denton here with it now for the Knights. He'll be guarded here by Brody Haichu. Denton will dribble in on his defender. Throws it up. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Trey Haichu. He'll wear off his defender and come out alone. Gets it across the half-court line. Dribbles in to Klein there. And a foul is going to be called on the floor. That foul is called on at number 23 in Avery Klein. That is his first team, seventh. So, Trey Haichu will go to the line to shoot a one-and-one one here for Leo. Haichu, as I mentioned, a 74% free throw shooter here for Leo. We got a buzz here. And there is seven fouls on the floor. The bonus is up. So, you'd think they'd be shooting one-and-one. One. Or, no. The scoreboard is wrong. That is the sixth foul. So, Leo is going to inbound under the basket here as that is only the sixth foul called on East Noble. So Birdie Haichu will inbound here for Leo. We're going to get it in. Does to Middleton. He'll give it off to Trey Haichu. Long three ball on the way there. No good. And Birdie Haichu able to save it there. Rubel comes away with it. He'll go back to Birdie Haichu. Three ball on the wing. No good. Rebound battled for and... Looks like that was, what are we going to call here? Possession is going to go to the Knights. And from my view here, that looked like it hit Owen Ritchie last. Let me take a look here at it on our replay here. We're going to slow-mo this up here. As, yeah, that definitely looked like. It came off of East Noble last, but we will play on. Richie, three ball at the top of the key there. No good. And 40 seconds left to go. 
Kick ahead here for Leo. Blind trigger with a nice find there. Trey Haichu came away with it. Was out of bounds. Possession's going to go to East Noble. 32 and a half seconds left to go in our second quarter. Eight point lead here for Leo. Klein's going to inbound here for the Knights. Klein will get it in here to Denton in front of the East Noble bench. He'll dribble up the floor, gets it across the half court line, finds Richie. Richie here with it. We'll try to look down low there to Avery Klein. Had it knocked away. Ribble came away with it. Oh, was looking for the feed to Montreger. And if he would have gotten that, he would have flushed that one home. I can guarantee you that 100%. Denton here with it. 10 seconds left to go. We'll get a screen here from Hood. Bring the double team. Middleton guarding him now. We'll go to Richie. Deep three ball on the way. No good. Haichu comes away with it. He'll throw it up and can't get it to go. So that is going to be our halftime score. 26 to 18, our score. We're going to take a break. Come back here with some halftime stats and analysis here live on SummitCitySports.com. Basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh... Welcome to the Summit City. Home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've, I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rath's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game the game of life. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile 
as she is along with the strip. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in eye cryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for I Cry. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260s dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Dealing with joint pains, sprains, strains, or back pain? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, Ortho Express has specialized orthopedic physicians on staff when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Ortho Express is open Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call 260-266-4007 for more. We are back here live from Leo High School, 26-18, our halftime score. Let's go ahead here and run down some of our halftime stats here out at Leo High School in this NE8 conference matchup. We'll go ahead and start with the East Noble Knights here tonight. As leading the way for them was Spencer Denton with seven, Owen Ritchie with three, Avery Klein with two, and Chris Hood with six there for the Knights. For the Leo Lions, Trey Heitchu with six, Xavier Middleton with two, Luke LaGrange with three, DJ Allen with 11, and Cademan Bontrager with four there for Leo. We'll take one more quick break and come back here to start third quarter action. 
here live, SummitCitySports.com. There are tons of benefits to using compression therapy, but my favorite are speeding up muscle recovery, reducing swelling and inflammation, and improving my athletic performance. Your kids grow up quick, and there's a lot to teach them. Some lessons they won't pick up in school. Some, they'll learn the hard way. But when it's time to give them the keys to their finances, we'll be there to help with their first checking account and the tools they need to make sense of their money. And even though they're off on their own, you'll be able to check in to see how they're doing. Raising your children is important, and teaching them about money is a big deal. So ProFed makes it easy. Federally insured by the NCUA. Equal. We're back here live from me. Leo High School set to begin our third quarter of action here at SummitCitySports.com. I'll bring you this live broadcast. We thank you for joining us here out at Leo High School. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll be notified of all of our live events as they do happen. So third quarter of action here underway. As the Lions are going to start with possession here. Trey Haichu with it for Leo. He'll look inside there. DJ Allen having himself a night here as he goes up and gets to for Leo. 13 points on the night for the big fella. Got the Rutgers University football coaches in the building here supporting him tonight as he is a Rutgers football commit that they will play on the gridiron next fall there for Rutgers. As Denton the other way gets the bucket and makes it 30 to 18. Our score, weird look on the scoreboard as my scoreboard was not correct. So we'll go ahead and roll along with it. 12 point lead here for Leo. And East Noble is going to have possession. They'll give it up top here to Foster. He'll have it at the top of the key. He'll look here down side here to Bender. Bender looking to go over there to Denton. Was knocked from behind there by Middleton. And Middleton is going to draw the foul. That'll be the team's first on Leo of the half. And personal fouls not coming up on the board. Looks like that is Middleton's first foul there for Leo. And a scoreboard change here. Has got it listed at 28 to 20. And there is no way that is right. Uh, so we'll go ahead and change it as I believe it had it correct to start with. So an eight point lead here for Leo, 628 left to go. Here in our third quarter of action, 28-20 our score. Leo with the lead over East Noble. 6.30 left to go here in our third quarter. Klein will have it here near side wing. He'll give it up top here to Bender. Bender will dribble around the screen. Goes back up top to Klein. Klein in the corner. They'll go to Denton. Denton back up top here. Foster with it. Foster will dribble in. He'll dribble back out and have it there far side wing. We'll give it off here. Chris Hood with a turnaround jumper is money. Chris Hood going up and drawing the foul. Give him the hoop and the harm. He'll go to the line to shoot an and one here for East Noble. Hood, a 64% free throw shooter. That foul was called on to DJ Allen. And that is his first to the team's second. Six minutes left to go here in our third quarter of action. Hood off the back of the iron there on the and one opportunity. And Haichu with it here now for Leo. That is Brody Haichu. He'll dribble across the half-court line. Goes here near side wing to Middleton. Middleton, double team there. Oh, Denton was going to come away with that one. And instead came over top there on Brody Haichu. And a foul is called. Spencer Denton, that is his third. The team's first. So Brody Haichu will inbound in front of the Leo Lions bench here for Leo. They'll have Allen down low. 
Bon Tringer will move out of the three-person wall. He'll give it up here to Trey Heitschu. He'll have it. Goes over to Brody Heitschu. He'll dribble baseline. Goes up. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Foster. Foster dribbling the other way. Will go in the corner here. Step back three. No good there for Denton. And Klein comes away with it. We'll look, try to look back door there to Denton. Had it knocked away. Trey Haichu. And possession is going to stay here with East Noble. Denton will inbound here for the Knights. 5.30 left to go. He'll inbound here to Klein. Up top here to Bender. Bender on the wheel there. They got it to Foster. Foster threw it away there. Gave it to Bond Trigger. That is somebody you don't want to give it to in transition. Comes away with his own pass deflection, I guess you can call it. And gets the score there for Leo. And a player down. Spencer Denton on the floor. And looks like we're going to play on here as East Noble will have possession. 5.13 left to go here in our third quarter. They'll inbound here to Foster with it. Now for the Knights. Foster will dribble up the floor. He'll get it across the half-court line, guarded by Trey Heitschu. Screen there from Chris Hood. He'll go in the corner here and back up top to Klein at the top of the key. Klein with a nice find there. Down low, Chris Hood can't get it to go. Allen comes away with it. Nope, in and out of the hands of Allen. And they're going to look ahead here. Bond trigger and threw it away. And possession's going to stay here with, or excuse me, possession's going to go to East Noble. Avery Klein will inbound here for the Knights. Got to find somebody to get it in. Finally does. And gets it in here to Denton. Denton will hand it off here to Foster. Foster with it at the top of the key. They'll dribble there. Far side wing. Get it back up. Avery Klein. Three ball on the way. No good. Rebound comes down to Middleton. Middleton here with it. Will go up the other way. Can't get it to go. Rebound Denton. Denton off the lead there to Klein. Avery Klein with it. We'll bring it back out here and go down low there. Nice find. Max Bender can't get it to go. Von Trigger comes down with the rebound off to Haichu. Eight point lead here for Leo. And a foul is going to be called on Foster as he gave Haichu a little bit of a push there when he was dribbling baseline. That foul is going to be his first, the team's second. And an eight point lead, 4 12 left to go. Avery Klein's going to check out of the ball game here for East Noble. Checking in for him, number 10 in Owen Ritchie. They'll get it in here. Middleton to Haichu. Haichu down low there to Bontrager. Bontrager tried to turn around slam there. Hood was there and left it off. DJ Allen with the and one opportunity here for Leo. Bontrager was looking to flush that one home, but the big fella, the offensive line commit for Ball State, the 6'9 senior Chris Hood was in the way. Not too much you can do around him. Instead found Allen behind him, and Allen able to put it home there and converts there on the free throw. So DJ Allen having himself a night, 16 points on the night there for the senior, for Leo. Denton here with it now for East Noble. Guarded by Middleton. Denton will dribble in. He'll go in the corner there to Foster. Foster here with it now for the Knights. Looks down low. Chris Hood with it. Hood with a turnaround. No good. Middleton comes down with the board. The kick ahead here. Trey Haichu with it. He'll bring it up the floor here for Leo. Haichu with a nice up and under. Boo. Can't get it to go. But Trey Haichu will earn his way to the line to shoot a pair here for Leo. That foul is called on to number 10 in Owen Ritchie. That is going to be his first, the team's fourth. So Trey Haichu will go to the line to shoot a pair here for Leo. Haichu a 74% free throw shooter here for Leo. Can't get it to go. Broadcasters jinx there. My apologies for Leo. And Brody Haichu and Middleton are going to check out for Leo. Will Grange. And Rubel will check in for the Lions. On the floor here for Leo, Trey Haichu, Luke LaGrange, DJ Allen, Cademan Bontrager, and Aiden Rubel. On the floor for the Knights, Max Bender, Spencer Denton, Keegan Foster, Owen Ritchie, and Chris Hood. Denton will have possession. Timeout called by 
head coach Brandon Darnell and East Noble. We're going to take one with them. We'll be back here full time out live. SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Dealing with joint pains, sprains. We are back here live from Leo High School. Denton goes inside here to Hood, back out. And that's Bender, three ball on the way off the back. And Aaron Hood using the length to come down with the rebound. Had it knocked from behind, and Rubel comes away with it. He'll go in the corner here to Trey Haichu. He'll give it off here to Bunch. Right here, back to Trey Haichu. He'll dribble baseline here. Goes up. Can't get it to go. Hood comes down with a rebound for the Knights. They'll kick it up the floor here. Foster with it at the top of the key. He'll kick it back up top to Bender. Bender with a nice find there down low. Chris Hood guarded by Allen. Throws it up. Can't get it to go. Rubel comes down with a rebound here for Leo. Rubel pushing the floor here for the Lions. He'll have it at the top of the key. Gives it off to DJ Allen. And uh, Leo student section chanting at Chris Hood to take his gloves off as he is an offensive lineman here. Those gloves aren't too sticky on the gridiron there for the football squad out at East Noble. As I mentioned, Ball State University commit and a Rutgers University commit going at it. It's Chris Hood and DJ Allen, that is. And DJ Allen gets a good end on that one. Can't get it to go. Got his own rebound. Went up and got the bucket. And DJ Allen having himself a night. 18 points on the night here for the senior. As I mentioned, those Rutgers University football coaches and the arena here tonight. That's Probably who he's wanting to put a show on for here out at Leo High School. 13-point lead here for the Lions. 155 left to go here in our third quarter. Allen hands it off here. Trey Haichu will dribble around his defender. Got stuck up. Free throw line jumper. Allen got it to go. Allen with 20 on the night here for Leo. DJ Allen getting straight buckets here tonight for the Lions. Richie, or excuse me, Denton here with it. We'll go up top to Bender. Bender looks down low. Hood can't, got it, got it blocked there from DJ Allen. Oh my goodness. Rubel bringing it up the floor here for Leo. Will dribble in on his defender. Had it partially blocked there. Out of bounds. Possession's going to stay here with the Lions. 114 of left to go here in our third quarter. 37 22 our score. Jackson McGee is going to check in for Trey Haichu. Hood and Foster will check out of the lineup for East Noble. Looks like Miller and Avery Klein will check back in here for the Knights. They'll go to the Grange in the corner. We'll get it into Bontrager. Bontrager goes up strong and gets the bucket. LaGrange came away with it. Bontrager here with it. Will spin. Will go up and gets the score. Steal it. Score there for Leo. The full court defense helping him out here. As uh, dribbling up the floor is Avery Klein. And a foul from behind called on McGee. That is going to be his first. The team's third. 48 seconds left to go here in our third quarter of action. 41-22 our score. 
Denton here with it now for the Knights. He'll hand it off. Richie corner three, no good. Klein came around with the rebound. Can't get it to go. Allen with it. Look ahead here to Bontrager. Bontrager makes a move around his defender. Slipped up there. And out of bounds, possession's going to stay with the Lions. And Bontrager slipped on that one. And, oh, what did we call here? Did they... Head coach Brandon Darnell not too pleased about something as his arms in the air. Oh, it looked like that came off of Pontrager. I think that's the case he's trying to plead there. But possession's going to stay with Leo. And Pontrager with it at the top of the key. Rubel here with it now for Leo. Leo with it there, far side wing. Ribble, we get a screen there from Bontrager. Dribble in, three seconds. Had it blocked there in the air. And one second left to go. That is going to be the end of our third quarter. 41-22 our score. We're going to take a break back here live. SummitCitySports.com. I came into PSM my freshman year after volleyball. Just coming here just really improved like mentally and physically. I brought in my strengths. I came in and I learned how to grow as an athlete. I mean, I've gotten stronger, sprint faster, get up higher. My jump has elevated. Working with Tyler, he built up my endurance for everything, whether it's in weights, sprints. All across the board, we just keep working. And I have athlete development at Warsaw High School that I go to. And so I send him my thing every day. And he changes what we do in here to adapt to what we do there. High school volleyball, when you can go up to five sets, being able to out, like, just outwork everybody and still being able to put in that 100% was huge for me. PSM performance definitely helped me mentally. I know I can beat out people. I know I can like, work for what I have. And I know I can like, even go to the next level on the court. Looking at college, I can put on it. I'm like, I'm training at a college level. I mean, I come in here and I watch college athletes train. You have hockey players, soccer, and you look around and you see every type you can. And just being able to see that level, and I know that I can reach that level as well. You gotta work to be the best, and that was just what I wanted to do. I knew that from a young age, I wanted to put in the work. The athletes has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is... is, is, is. And we're back here live to begin our fourth quarter action. Denton gets a bucket there for East Noble. And Leo with possession here now. LaGrange with it. Will dribble baseline here. Had it blocked there from Chris Hood. Didn't even have to jump for that one. Out of bounds. Possession's going to go to the Lions. LaGrange will inbound to Bontrager. He'll go up top here to Rubel. Rubel with it there. Far side wing. He'll go inside to Bontrager. Bontrager will dribble in. Got to find somebody to go to, and a foul is going to be called on East Noble. Possession is going to stay here with the Lions. Benner picks up his third foul, the team's fifth. 7.23 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. And the score there from Cademan. Bontrager to get the bucket for Leo. Coming the other way now, here are the Lions. Three ball, McGee is money. Jackson McGee with a three ball there for Leo. 6.55 left to go here in our fourth quarter. And Ruble with it here now, will go up and gets the bucket. So now a 24 point lead here for Leo. And Tetton. Here with it now for the Knights. We'll get a screen. Three ball on the way there is good. Spencer Denton with a three for East Noble. 
DJ Allen here with it now. On the kick ahead here to Bontrager. He'll go up against Hood. The foul is going to be called. Chris Hood will pick up the foul. That'll be the team sixth, his second. One away from the bonus, 625 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. Bontrager converts there on the first free throw. And DJ Allen, Aiden Rubel will check out of the ball game. Checking in for them, number two, Caden Miller. And at number 35, the West Virginia University lineman commits Landon Livingston. We got football commits all over the place here out at Leo High School tonight with DJ Allen, Rutgers University, Landon Livingston, West Virginia University, and Chris Hood going to Ball State for some football action. I believe Caden Miller is looking into football auctions. Not 100% sure where he's going to go yet. As Livingston knocked it away there. Three ball on the way there. No good for E. Snubble. And LaGrange came down with it. Gave it off to McGee. McGee will dribble up the floor. He'll get it across the half court line. Dribble in on his defender. It's going to get called for the travel possession. Will go to E. Snubble. 5.53 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. Denton's going to bring the ball up the floor here for the Knights. He'll bring it across the half-court line, guarded by LaGrange. Denton will go inside to Hood. Hood on the free throw line, comes back out here to Denton. Denton with Bender there, try to go inside to Hood. And Seth had it wrapped up on the floor there, Livingston. The head to look, Kaneman, Potrigger flushes it home! Fifty-one twenty-seven. our score here in the fourth quarter. Five minutes left to go in our regulation action. Hood here with it now for E. Snowball. We'll kick it back out. That is Eli Mark with it. Caden Miller comes away with it here for Leo. Kick ahead there. Bond trigger had it knocked away by Denton. And Leo comes away with it. Miller here with it now. Goes there, far side corner. McGee, three ball on the way, in and out. Hood comes down with the rebound for the Knights. We'll give it off here to Bender. Bender will bring it across the half-court line. 4.45 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. Three ball on the way there from Denton. No good. McGee comes down with the board. McGee looking up the floor here for Leo. We'll get it across the half-court line. He'll get a screen here from Bontrager, and he'll throw it up. Can't get it to go. Rebound battled for off of East Noble. Possession's going to stay here with the Lions. And a substitution being made as Cademan Bontrager will check out of the ball game. Check again here for Leo, number four, and Braden Gustafson, I do believe that is. Not listed on the varsity roster. but is on the JV roster as number four in Brady Gustafson. So we'll go ahead and go with that name here. As Carter Savoy bringing the ball off the floor, had it knocked away, foul is gonna be called. Four minutes left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. East Noble inbound, they'll go inside here to Hood. Hood here with it at the free throw line. We'll go far side there. They'll go back up top. Richie here with it. We'll dribble in. Kicks it back out. Denton here with it now for the Knights. Goes inside there to Chris Hood. Guarded by Livingston. Turned around. Can't get it to go. And what do we got here? A foul is going to be called there on Livingston. Leo students actually not too pleased there. Wanted a travel call. Instead, it didn't get that. They got a foul. On Livingston, that is his first, the team's fifth. Richie here with it at the top of the key, guarded by Miller. We'll look inside there, Chris Hood, guarded by Livingston. With a turnaround jumper, it's good. And McGee bringing the ball up the floor now here for the Lions. 3.30 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. 51-29 our score. LaGrange is going to dribble down low and it gets called out of bounds. Possession's going to go to East Noble. 22 point lead here for the Lions. And East Noble with possession, 3.30 to go. 
Savoy will bring it up here on Miller. We'll go in the corner there to Richie. Had it knocked away from Miller. Livingston came away with it, threw it away. Hood with it here now. We'll go here to Denton. Denton will dribble in on Livingston. Goes up strong and gets the bucket. And a timeout called by head coach Brandon Durnell. We'll take one with them. Be back here live. SummitCitySports.com. Full timeout. There are tons of benefits to using compression therapy. But my favorite are speeding up muscle recovery, reducing swelling and inflammation, and improving my athletic performance. Your kids grow up quick, and there's a lot to teach them. Some lessons they won't pick up in school. Some they'll learn the hard way. But when it's time to give them the keys to their finances, we'll be there to help with their first checking account and the tools they need to make sense of their money. And even though they're off on their own, you'll be able to check in to see how they're doing. Raising your children is important, and teaching them about money is a big deal. So ProFed makes it easy. Federally insured by the NCUA. Equal. We're back here live from Leo High School. Possession here with the Lions. LaGrange is going to inbound here for them. LaGrange will get it in here. Had it knocked away from Richie. And looks like the referee pointed the other way. Yep, East Noble is going to take possession here. No, the Lions are going to keep it. It looks like the referee pointed to go the other way. And he did. So McGee is going to have it. He'll give it up to LaGrange. Full court press here from East Noble. McGee will bring it across the floor. Goes up top here to LaGrange. Miller, three ball on the way. No good. Rebound comes down to McGee. McGee tried to find LaGrange there on the back cut and instead couldn't come away with it. And Denton had it knocked away there from McGee. Hood came away with it, gave it off to Denton. To Richie. Three ball on the way here near side wing. No good. Rebound comes down. Richie with a three there for East Noble. 51-34 our score, 2.30 left to go. Fourth quarter of action. LaGrange here with it for Leo. Jumper there, no good. Livingston comes down with the rebound, finds LaGrange. LaGrange will spin move there, can't get it to go. Rebound battled for, and the Knights come away with it. Savoy's going to kick it up the floor. He'll go to Denton. Denton dribbling in here on Livingston. Goes back to Savoy. Savoy here with it now for the Knights. Goes in there, far side wing. Three ball is good. Spencer Denton with the three. So Caden Miller now bringing the ball up the floor here for Leo. Nice find there. Got it to go. That bucket was scored by Eli LaGrange there for Leo. And he will go to the line to shoot here for the Lions. Foster will check in. And at number 34, Keegan Corbin will check in here for East Noble. Brock Schott will check in for Leo. He'll check in for Luke LaGrange. 154 left to go here in our fourth quarter. 53-37 our score. Eli LaGrange at the free throw line. Off the front end there. Livingston comes down with the rebound. Goes back to LaGrange. Jumper no good. Rebound battled for and out of bounds. Possession's going to go to the Knights. 148 left to go in our fourth quarter of action. Richie will inbound here for East Noble. He's got to get it to somebody. Does find Savoy there up the floor. He'll get it across the half court line. Carter Savoy here with it at the top of the key. That will go to Richie. Three ball. In and out there. LaGrange comes down with the rebound. 130 left to go here in our fourth quarter. Miller here with it now for the Lions. Miller dribbles around his defender, throws up the footer there. That one's blocked. He comes down with his rebound. Goes to LaGrange there. LaGrange with a floater there. Can't get it to go. But we'll go to the line to shoot here for Leo. 
Fouls called on at number 34. And Keegan Corbin, now that is his first team's eighth. So Eli Grange will shoot here for Leo. 114 left to go in our fourth quarter. LaGrange gets his first to go there for Leo. LaGrange on the second, gets it to go. 55-37 our score, 114 left to go in our fourth quarter. Foster will bring it up the floor, goes up the floor there to Richie. Corner three, no good. Rebound comes down to Leo. Shot here with it now for the Lions. He'll give it off to McGee. He'll dribble across the half-court line. 55 seconds left to go in our fourth quarter of action. McGee here with it. He'll go up top here to LaGrange. Over to Miller. Miller here with it near side wing. Goes back to LaGrange. And had it knocked away. And Mark came away with it. Gave it off to Savoy. Savoy will dribble in on his defender there. Gave it into the corner. Foster three ball is good. 15 point lead now here for Leo. 25 seconds left to go. Miller here with it now for the Lions. And Miller comes away with it. Gives it off to LaGrange. Gets the late bucket for Leo. And five seconds left to go. He'll dribble out, Keegan Foster. And that'll be our final score. We're going to take a break. We'll be back here to wrap things up here live, SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live. We are back here live from Leo High School, 57 to 40. Our final score, Leo picks up the victory. He moves to nine and two on the year. And East Noble falls to seven and eight, 50 to seven. 57 to 40, our final score. We're gonna go ahead and run down some final stats here live from Leo High School. Keegan Foster finished with three for the Knights. Spencer Denton with 19, Owen Ritchie with six. Car Avery Klein looks like with two, and Chris Hood with 10. For Leo, they came out. Trey Haichu with six, Eli LaGrange with six, Jackson McGee with three, Xavier Middleton with two, Luke LaGrange with three, Adam Rubel with two, DJ Allen with 20, and Cademan Bontrager with 15 there for Leo. Well, our final score here from Leo High School, congratulations to head coach and Kerry Cogdale picked up his 250th victory here in his career at Leo High School. Well, our final score, 57 to 40, Leo gets the victory over East Noble. Your Parkview sportsman. Leo picks up the victory over the East Noble Knights, 57 to 40. Your part for you, Sports Medicine player of the game, DJ Allen, with 20 points on the night there for the Lions. Well, we are going to say so long here from Leo High School for my cameraman, Matt Jackson. I'm Hunter Sosenheimer. You have been watching Indiana High School basketball right here live, SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com.
I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've, I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rath's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November. In addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strength. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training.
It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo.